Hello, my name is Ron Z. These are my impressions of the Google TP-Link OnHub AC1900 dual band Wi-Fi router. This is an unboxing, review, tear down, disassembly, and setup tutorial of a free demo unit received from TP-Link for testing and feedback as part of their review program. My slideshow presentation will give you the flavor of the OnHub router, illustrate what it does, and how it's set up. If your current router gets slow and buffers as additional users and devices come on board, you should consider getting a new OnHub router. The router is the most used and important network device in your home. All internet and LAN traffic flows through it. An old slow router that is overloaded will become overwhelmed, analogous to a funnel overflowing, causing queues, backups, bottlenecks, and slowdowns. If your speed decreases when the kids and your spouse come online, it's probably not the internet causing the degradation. It's your router. A good solution is the OnHub router, wireless AC, dual band, with 13 antennas covering 2,500 square feet with a capacity to simultaneously accommodate over 100 devices. This is a high quality product that's easy to install and maintenance is automatic. Even the packaging is exceptional. Google and TP-Link engineers are perfectionists and every aspect of the OnHub is near perfect. I've been using the OnHub for several weeks. Never a glitch, never needs a reboot. All my gear stays connected and works great. Replace your old router with an OnHub and everyone in the house will be happier and love you. The retail package contains an OnHub power supply and two flat black ethernet cables. Each cable is about four feet long and has no CAT designation. A five inch square card explains the colors of the top status ambient light ring, six tricolor LEDs. Instructions printed on the box cover indicate how to get the app, plug in, get online. Additional help is provided within the Google Wi-Fi app. For your initial setup, you'll need to install the Google Wi-Fi app on a phone or tablet running either Android 4.0 or higher or Apple iOS 7 or higher. The app installed easily on all my Android phones and tablets without any problem. OnHub model TGR1900 version 1 comes with a choice of either a replaceable blue or black outer shell. Additional shells are available and sold separately. Bamboo, white and gold, black and silver. Google OnHub makers for additional customizable shells. Current firmware is 8872.40.14. The OnHub is a cool, unique, radically designed 7.5 inch tall cylinder. The base diameter is 4.1 inches, at the top 4.6 inches. Weight is 1.9 pounds. On top is a built-in 3-watt speaker that's presently used during the setup process. At the back are two Ethernet ports an internet WAN port, and a LAN port. I recommend TP-Link's inexpensive SG-1005D five-port desktop switch to anyone needing additional LAN ports. The USB 3 port is currently only used for restoring the OS image. A recessed reset button is also at the back. The OnHub is based on a dual-core 1.4 GHz Qualcomm IPQ8064 CPU, two Qualcomm Q4 
QCA 9880s with three stream 802.11ac Wi-Fi, one each for 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz, a Qualcomm QCA 9882 single stream 802.11ac Wi-Fi for sniffing, one gigabytes of RAM, four gigabytes eMMC flash, and eight megabytes NOR flash. The OnHub is a dual band AC1900 router. It operates simultaneously on the 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz bands supporting IEEE 80211 A, B, G, N, and AC Wi-Fi. While the 80211 AC spec offers the greatest speed the OnHub is backward compatible and will support all your legacy gear too. Automated band steering switches a device to whichever band is the best, 2.4 gigahertz or 5 gigahertz. The OnHub comes loaded with lots of antennas. Inside are 13 high performance Wi-Fi antennas plus a congestion sensing Wi-Fi radio. In my book, the more antennas a router has, the better. Speeds are higher and more Wi-Fi devices can be operational concurrently. There is an internal omnidirectional antenna array consisting of six 2.4 gigahertz antenna and six 5 gigahertz antenna. Each antenna points in a different direction. The geometry is three antenna sets for each band, paired orthogonally. These sets are arranged circularly 120 degrees apart. In the accompanying internal antenna pictures, larger boards handled 2.4 gigahertz, smaller boards 5 gigahertz. This is 802.11ac, 3x3 MIMO, three antennas supporting three data streams. It's AC1900 with simultaneous top speeds of 600 megabits per second at 2.4 gigahertz and 1300 megabits per second at 5 gigahertz. The AC1900 designation comes from 600 plus 1300 is equal to 1900. OnHubs have higher throughput than Google's Wi-Fi mesh devices, which are 2x2 MIMO, AC 1200, 300 megabits per second at 2.4 gigahertz, and 867 megabits per second at 5 gigahertz. Google mesh networks can be configured using OnHubs, Google Wi-Fi mesh devices, or a combination of both. Using only on hubs would theoretically result in superior performance. There is also a large signal boosting sheet metal double diamond shaped 2.4 gigahertz antenna front facing and directional. A big heat sink behind it acts as a reflector helping to focus and extend range. Just above the speaker is a dual band disc antenna monitoring network congestion connected to a dual band Qualcomm Atheros QCA9882 one by one 80211 AC monitor radio which scans Wi-Fi every five minutes and when interference from other devices is detected switches the on hub to the least crowded channel. The external power supply is rated at 12 volts, three amps. By plugging in sideways, it takes up only one outlet on any ungrounded wall outlet or power strip. The length of the power supply wire is around five feet. Network check, run from the app, test the internet speed to your home, and Wi-Fi strength to the mobile device you are using. Both download and upload speeds are benchmarked. In my case, 
Download speed was more than 200 megabits per second. Upload speed was 21 megabits per second. Wi-Fi strength to the mobile device you were using is also tested. The app indicated my device had a good Wi-Fi connection, saying this device has strong Wi-Fi at this location. Device details and usage statistics can also be displayed. The app lets you give every device and Wi-Fi point a custom name so you can more easily visualize what's going on. Password handling is facilitated. Changing the password to one easily remembered and texting it to friends is simple. For geeks who are so inclined, the app can set ambient light ring brightness, prioritize a specific device, allocating it more bandwidth, set up and manage a guest Wi-Fi network, and implement parental control family Wi-Fi pause. Other configurable advanced network settings are DNS, WAN, DHCP dynamic host configuration protocol, static IP, PPPoE, point-to-point -point protocol over internet, DHCP IP reservations, port forwarding, UPnP universal plug and play, and network mode, NAT, network address translation. That's plenty of settings for a computer geek to mess with. I ran empirical benchmarks for Wi-Fi devices connected to the OnHub. They were legacy Android tablets and a new Windows 10 Lenovo ThinkPad laptop. My results are conservative because there was other concurrent activity using OnHub resources. While the benchmarks were being run, the OnHub had three Ethernet hardwire devices connected through an SG-1005D switch and approximately 30 Wi-Fi devices connected and active. An Android Aspen A727 tablet with 802.11n had speeds of download 52 megabits per second, upload 19 megabits per second. This is a cheap $20 tablet with a legacy Wi-Fi radio. On a ThinkPad with 802.11ac, speeds rose to download 236 megabits per second, upload 23 megabits per second. Google promises that the OnHub will be continuously improving with the newest features so it never stops working well. In that spirit, at the top of my wish list is a firmware update permitting USB peripherals to be attached. I want to connect the USB hub with external USB disk drives. Either an OnHub Windows 10 app or a browser-based GUI interface would also be appreciated. Both Google and TP-Link have our back. Google provides 24 by 7 Wi-Fi care on-hub technical support by phone, email, and website. In the app, pressing request callback will get you a return phone call from their help desk. Similarly, TP-Link offers on-hub technical support by phone and email 24 by 7 for the life of the product. Plus, there's TP-Link's two-year warranty. I hope you found my presentation enjoyable and helpful. Goodbye and good luck.